outside got an opportunity to be inside to do this little test I want to do on the ceramic heater by Solil S-O-L-E-I-L -E says it is, is uh, safety features tip over safety switch overheat safety fuse Cool touch exterior, controls settings, one heat setting, 250 watts, power indicator light, additional features, ceramic heating element, fully assembled and ready to heat with a one year limited warranty. Question is, 12 volt deep cycle Walmart battery. Ever start 400 watt power inverter and question is will it heat all right let's jump right into this I've already opened this so I don't do unboxing and all that I'm not that fancy I whip out the knife and do all that you get instructions in there but if you don't know how to plug a plug in and turn the light uh, power switch on you probably shouldn't be messing with it anyway. Alright, first of all, can y'all see this? 13.33 volts. I have my leads connected directly to the contacts on the inverter. Alright, you can see the 13.33. So let's uh, plug this bad boy in and see what it does. Oh! There is a thermometer out here. Let me swing this around. Show y'all. Whoop. Enjoy the ride. Alright. What does that say? Uh, 50, about 52 degrees. Out here in the garage. Alright. Now let's plug this thing in. Well, actually, we're at, well, point three three. Let's turn the inverter on, see what the inverter drop is. How much of a drop that causes. Uh, about point two. The inverter's showing 13.2 volts. All right, let me move this over a tad. Hopefully you can still see that. If I can get it plugged in. Alright, that's plugged in. Now, let's see what she does. Now, if there's nothing technical about setting this up here that's blowing heat on that, causing something else, I, I don't know. It shouldn't here. We'll turn it up. Kind of face it up. No, I can't because of the fallover safety switch. Right. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there. Anyway, that's got to be sitting down flat. So that should work right there. We're down to 13.25. Jan Brother's still showing 13.2. So, alright, let's turn this thing on. Y'all ready? Right away it sends this inverter on the... Well, actually I can feel... My hand is right here up against it. I can feel it right there. Start to cool off. Alright, right there I really can't feel it. So what is that about? 16 inches away, but in a very small room, 
or in my situation, a sleeping area in an SUV. It should hold up and heat it, or should heat up the area. But let's just let this run for a little bit and see what it does for this battery. Yeah, I know it, it, y'all know how long it's going to run. You've been watching the video. But we're going to run this and see how long it takes it to drop it down to like 10 or 11 volts. Or till, I tell you what, let's run it till the inverter starts making the help me, help me noises. It looks out of focus, but I can't really tell from here. Alright, I'm going to set this over here. And we're going to do a little time lapse now. So, here we go. Alright, it's down to 10.7 volts according to the inverter 11.11 .11 volts as you can see on the tester but the heater is still heating and it's ran an hour and 50 say hour and 58 minutes so, try something here turn it off jump back to 11.6 Uh, using 100%, well, it just jumped to 75. Still at 75, it had jumped over to 100% on the percentage of the battery it's using. Temperature-wise, let me flip you around here. up almost one degree. Of course it's a long ways from it. I say a long ways, it's uh, five foot. But we're also in a garage. Just for the sake of it, it says low battery. Just for the sake of it, we'll let it run. But there's no way you're going to be wanting to sit there and listen to that beat. Well, maybe, yeah, no, let's just let it run until it just stops. We'll check back in a minute. our conclusion if you have a good full battery and you don't run anything else off of it then it will work for you however if you're like charging your batteries and your, well not car batteries but your camera batteries, your computer, or whatever, it's not going to heat it up because, you know, you can see here. I guess you can see. The temperature has not changed. It's still, well, it came up one degree. And how long? Let me get this back around here. <laughs> one degree. And that thing ran over two hours, which I'm surprised it ran that long. In an SUV or a car, it would probably work if that's the only thing you use that battery for. 
that's a lot of space for a little bitty heater but while I was inside thinking about this and hmm actually I was eating <laughs> but shh, we won't say that while I was researching I uh, thought about a heat lamp so I am going to get a heat lamp not just a normal regular heat lamp with you know red colored bright light or whatever this one said that it doesn't produce light but I don't know I'm gonna see if I can find one anyway supposedly they have them at Walmart or at least on walmart.com so be sure and watch for that video that'll be later on it's not gonna be in, in the next day or two but uh, I'll check it out we'll, we'll experiment with that a little bit gotta have heat you know unless you're gonna go down south or out to the desert or even in the desert it gets cool but uh really neat heat so y'all be sure and watch for that video and if you have not subscribed yet there is a subscribe button down there below and uh, be sure and subscribe help support the channel give us a thumbs up and uh, all that good stuff share the video so y'all keep on keeping on and i'll see y'all on down the road bye